In this example, I machining of a bracket, the next two operations are defined to perform the machining of the three semi-open pockets and seven closed pockets. Let's first take a look at the roughing operation. Go ahead and double click I rough pockets in the cam tree to open the I machining operation dialog box. On the geometry page, click the show button. Now since all 10 of these pockets have the same depth, they can all be machined in this one operation. The first three chains have edges marked as open, allowing the tool to enter from those edges. Five of the closed chains use the through pockets as entry chains. And the remaining two chains, named four and five, are simple closed pockets. Now, since these pockets are closed, the tool will enter them using helical ramping. Exit the Show Geometry dialog box by clicking Cancel. By switching to the tool page, you'll see that this operation uses a 3 8 inch diameter bullnose mill with a corner radius of a 16th inch. On the Levels page, the pocket depth is defined with no additional delta depth. On the Technology Wizard page, we can see the cutting conditions calculations based on a machining level aggressiveness of 6. By switching to the Technology page, you'll also see that this IRUF operation will leave a 10 thou allowance on the walls. Let's go ahead and click Simulate to take a look at the iMachining toolpath at work. Using the default HostCAD mode, click the Play button. We see that the tool approaches the first three pockets from the open edges. The tool then enters the remaining pockets using helical ramping and the defined entry geometry. Now take notice of how these pockets are cleared in only one step down and with iMachining's patented morphing spiral toolpaths which are able to cut irregularly shaped areas with a single continuous spiral. Let's also look at the simulation using Solid Verify. Click play again to view the cutting tool moving through the solid stock material. Exit the simulation control panel and the iMachining Operation dialog box, and then open the iFinish Pockets operation by double-clicking it in the cam tree. This operation was initially created as a copy and is defined to perform the finish machining of the pockets. You'll see that iFinish was chosen for the technology type. The copy geometry, tool, and milling levels definitions are all carried over from the previous iRough operation. On the Technology Wizard page, the default cutting conditions are also used based on a machining level aggressiveness of 6. Now let's switch to the Technology page. Under the Technology tab, the Wall Island Offset automatically defaults to 0 and cannot be changed. Under the IRES Data tab, note that the previous iRough Pockets operation is selected as the parent operation by default and the values needed for calculating rest material are automatically populated to the fields. Let's now click Simulate. First, we'll use the default HostCAD mode to view the wireframe toolpath at work by clicking Play. Then, we'll take a look at the machining of our part in Solid Verify. Using the slider, first slow the simulation speed down a bit, and then click the Play button. The finishing of each of the pockets is performed in a single cutting pass. Well, that just about does it for the pockets machining. We can close the simulation control panel and the iMachining operation dialog box with the exit buttons. Next, we'll take a look at the HSS operation defined to perform the finished machining of angled surfaces.